Oh, this is nasty. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We have the first spit out of the day. There are no words. I've got some. Disgusting. <laughs> I recognize that flavor. Play-Doh. Play <laughs> the texture is Play-Doh. And not even chocolate Play-Doh, but like mm. the blue kind. <laughs> I am a bodybuilder. For me, protein bars are normal and don't taste weird. I am his wife. And in case you couldn't tell, I'm not a bodybuilder. She is used to actually eating like real normal food. So I thought, hey, why don't we get a bunch of protein bars together here and see if we can find something that we both like. If we do, it's a fair bet that it might actually be something that most people might find palatable or actually taste decent. An added degree of difficulty is we're also gonna compare macros and ingredients on all these and see if we can find something that rates well there while still being agreeable to both of us. Does such a product exist? Let's find out. Let's find out. Dun, dun, dun. Hey everybody, Darren Starr. Dina Kirk. We are here for the ultimate protein bar taste test, throwdown, challenge, cage match, fighting championship tournament of winners 2024. Today, we have 13, I think actually 14 protein bars, Baker's Dozen plus one that we're gonna sample. We are going to rate each bar on taste, texture, macros, and ingredients. Sound good? Yeah. All right. Let's get to it. You said so, I could have wine. Yes, so you have, what are you drinking there? A fake Aperol Spritz. All right, sounds good. Let's do it. First goes, up. Goes great with protein bar. I'm sure it does. We're gonna, we're gonna try it and see what happens here. I already know I like it. Maybe I should save it to go after a gross one. No, I think we're gonna, um, well that might not be a bad strategy. Hopefully this isn't the kind of thing where we need a strategy to get through this. Or a palate cleanser. Right off the bat, this thing here, it's 230 calories, macros are 20 grams of protein, 20, Three? <laughs> yes. I need my better glasses. And I can't see it without glasses. <laughs> eight, and eight With grams glasses. of fat. So I'll throw up the numbers for these on screen so we don't necessarily have to read them all out. We're just gonna kind of go for Good, taste here. Because they'll get tired of watching us squint yeah. like old people. Like, Not man, that we are old people. Look at the boomers here reviewing these protein bars. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. Do you like the end or do you want to go from the middle? I like the end because there's icing on this one. Okay, all right. So we're gonna you go. You should get half my end. <laughs> There's a joke in there somewhere. It does look kind of like, um, what does that look like? It looks kind of like hard peanut butter inside of a... Uh, it's brown. It's <laughs> Light brown. Is that Car your professional opinion? Caramel brown. You want to go on a one to five scale or a one to 10 scale? 10 gives more flexibility. Okay, how would you rate this taste, one to 10? And is there a bell curve here for like Taste for a protein bar. Yeah, uh, for a protein bar. Understanding that none of this stuff is going to taste like it came from Dan a Michelin is like like restaurant. Best protein bar. Yeah. I give this one an eight. I give it a seven and a half. Texture is where I'm going to ding it. Yeah, I bet that's a great chaser there. Mm. Palate cleanser. Yeah, texture. I'm going to give this one like a four. Like it's very kind of bungy. I don't mind the texture, although it has also not been carried around in my bag and melted yet. <laughs> Makes a difference. <laughs> that, that's a good point. That's a good point. And, and any of these are made better by 10 seconds in the microwave and eating it with a fork. You gonna eat that? Yes. Okay. This is the one I like. And, okay. the, and no, you should try it. It's better with the icing, with more of the icing. Yeah, because it's the spongy part in the middle that's the problem texture wise, and there's less of it in there. Next up, um, I wanna go with one that I haven't tried yet. So I'm gonna go with this Robert Irvine's Fit Crunch. Am I supposed to know who he is? I don't know, I have no idea who he is. Now this has 30 grams of protein and uh, it's a little higher in fat, 16 grams. Carbs are actually 27. This has more protein sugar. than carbs. Sugar? Sugar. Total sugar six. Including five grams of added sugars. Uh, they probably really needed that extra gram of sugar they, to make they, a protein they might. What flavor is this? This is, this Robert is needed it. peanut butter. I tried to stick with like chocolate flavors when I could just because I wanted to be kind of even about it. I this take one. objection with that too. Yeah. Because it makes a big difference if you don't like the flavor. Or split it. the end piece. You go for the end. Split the Use end. Use all your muscles and split the piece at the <laughs> end. Thank you. There you go. All right. See, it's worth, worth all that work. All right. The end's always gonna be better though, so if we're grading on a curve, we might as well. We gotta edit, edit out this part. Nobody wants to watch us eat. I like it because it has different textures. Like it, does. it has contrasting textures. It's not all, which camera do I look at when I talk to you? That one. Oh, 
it's not all the same. So it like compares textures. There's a softer, chewier, there's a crunchy, like crispy. I have a hard time believing that this whole thing only has six grams of sugar yeah. based on how sweet, how tasty it is. That tastes almost like non-protein bar-ish. Yeah. That's really good, actually. I'm impressed. I like that one. I'm giving that an eight for flavor. I'm giving it, what did I do in the last one? Eight or eight and a half? Eight, I think. Eight and a half. And I'm gonna give it a, a solid eight or a nine for texture. Like there's nothing offensive about that at all. No. Nope. Nothing protein barish. I don't it. even need to microwave that one. Your pick. Let's take the biggest. My bar. My bar. And this is triple chocolate. So I already know that this is going to be a slammer in my bar. Everything's going to be chocolate. You're looking at a 400 calorie bar here. To me, that's double the size it should be too. For what I would. Need. I feel like there needs to be like an aroma test. Oh, it definitely has a very like real chocolate smell to it. So inside you can see the triple chocolate living up to its name. There's a few different visible layers in there. Kind of dig that. Triple C. It looks like there's two, and then I assume they're counting this outer shell as a layer also. Go for it. I'm glad I didn't eat lunch. Mm. Okay, so this is oh, definitely I... a protein bar. <laughs> That's the face that I was looking for before we started this video. I knew we were getting, I'm surprised that we made it to the third one before we got that face. If I could spit it out, I would. <laughs> <laughs> There's no trash can. You in for a penny, in for a pound. Oh, that's going to be a great combination right there. <laughs> Flavor-wise, I'd give that one a five. Like, the flavor wasn't bad. The texture, I'm giving it like a one or a two. I give it a one all the way around. That felt like kind of like eating a tire. Do I have to give it a one, or can I give it a zero? You can give it a zero. I thought it was one to ten. Zero to ten. The rules are flexible. Would you want to eat 400 calories of this? <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. Would you want to eat four calories of this? No thanks. The My Bar gets the seal of disapproval but, from Dina. But it has higher protein content. Yeah. There's only four grams of sugar in this. Uh, it, it tastes like zero grams of sugar. You're going to have 400 calories. That you better enjoy it. Yeah. Agreed. I, I'm intrigued by this. No Cow brand dipped. I believe this is vegan. Keto-friendly, vegan, soy-free, gluten-free, 20 grams plant-based protein, 23 grams carbs, 7 grams of fat, but with 13 yeah. grams of dietary fiber. Watch out for the dietary fiber when it's really high in some of these bars because oftentimes it's just going to be really low-quality stuff. So you think fiber, you're like, oh, cool, that'll help keep me regular. Oftentimes they just stop you up more because the fiber fiber content of this stuff is just is super Is that like those tortillas that are high, yeah. high, high protein? Or yeah, high, high fiber tortilla high fiber. wraps. Yeah, same kind of thing. Is that salt on there? It better be. <laughs> Chocolate sea salt. Chocolate. My favorite. But sea salt. Salt makes everything better. Yes, you are the salt fiend. Oh, it looks pretty gross. It, it looks kind of like cutting into a three-day-old dog turtle. It bit. looks like that emoji that you <laughs> use when you don't want to type the word poo. My apologies to the people who make this. Quill. <laughs> Quill, look at me. Oh, this is fucking nasty. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> We have the first spit out of the day. There are no words. I've got some. Disgusting. <laughs> I recognize that flavor. Play-Doh. Play the texture is Play-Doh. And not even chocolate Play-Doh, but like mm. the blue kind. <laughs> when you think about gluten-free foods, this is what I think of them tasting like. There's lots of gluten-free foods that are good. And there that is not people one of them. out there who like the No Cow Bar. If so, comment. We'd love to hear ridiculous. We'd love to make fun of you because that is just objectively bad. I have to blow my nose. Bl blow my nose, is that code for throw up? No. Atlas. <clears throat> Atlas, can I have a drink? Can I have a sip of this? Yeah. I'm choosing Atlas because it's our neighbor's dog's name. This is dark chocolate almond. That seems like a good combination. Uh, macros on this, 20 grams protein, one gram sugar, four net carbs. Sugar? <clears throat> uh, one. I'm already kind of assuming this like this is gonna be bad. <laughs> this is starting to look a little bit like, like an abattoir here. So. What? Abattoir. That's like if you have a place where you like drain the blood out of a body. <laughs> oh my God. Can we get a sharper knife? Can we see? Like, why did your brain go there? <laughs> You're really, really <laughs> using his muscle God. to cut through. Let's hope your teeth can manage it. Oh my God. There's microwave? no way this is edible. I, no, I think if we microwave this, it's cheating. Yeah, good luck. Let's watch this. I also need to see... He's not, he's you're, not being dramatic. You're not a bodybuilder, but you're pretty strong. He is not being dramatic. dramatic. I'm stronger than I look. 
haven't even bit into it yet. I would just throw this on the ground, if, except we have dogs that might okay. come. Okay. They aren't gonna eat this. <laughs> I ain't spit it out, I'm hardcore. Oh my God. That is worse than that one. It is. Because it's stickier. I think I gave the last one a one. This one has to get a zero. <clears throat> this is like a negative one. I'm bending the rules. This at, oh my God. Like, first of all, there's no almond in that at all. It's the Play-Doh that sticks to your teeth. Maybe so then you have to keep tasting it for the next hour. Yeah, it is stuck in my teeth like um, wax. Hardest of passes. That was your pick? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go with something that I know is a winner. I'm going for the Gatorade protein bar. Lots of sugar. Yeah, so the macros on this are not good. It's, it, it's 360 calories. It, it's only 20 grams of protein, 41 grams of carbs, 13 grams of fat, 29 grams of total sugars. And we already know it tastes like candy. Including 28 grams of added sugars. So this is one I'm not going into this blind. Like I've had many of these chocolate chip version. I don't want to contaminate that bar with the knife we just used on the Atlas bar. <laughs> There's a lot of cross contamination happening here. And, and I'm not a picky eater. I like everything. Not a picky eater, but I mean, as we've seen, like you have a lower threshold for protein bar tolerance than I do. Like I didn't spit out either of those last two, even though I wanted to. I've been in a scenario where it's like, yeah, okay, this is fine. I can take this. This has little like rice crispy rice bits crispy. in here. It's like a chocolate rice crispy treat. Yeah, yeah. How did I get that Cheer. schmutz on my Jeez wrist? Jeez Louise, you don't know which bar that's from either, so I wouldn't necessarily look that off. I mean, this is objectively delicious. It's really good. It tastes like candy. Yeah, but the macros, are horrible. For protein bars, that's the curve that we're graded on here. That's a 10 out of 10. I would almost not even call it a protein bar. I would almost call it a candy bar with 20 grams of protein. protein. Yeah, yeah. Because the macros protein. are like that of protein. I mean, protein. it is good, but it is also a big hunk of bar and I would have to choke it down toward the end because there's oh. a lot there. And there's a lot there you could make a joke about. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm picking the next one. Yeah. Everybody loves their Quest bar. But again, I will say like, I would mm. rank something higher that wasn't chocolate just because of variety sake. I should have saved that cinnamon roll bar for mid, middle of the road. Nice little detour because here. Because flavor makes a, a big, big difference. You know, mm -hmm. like I'm, I'm okay. I like chocolate fine, but I'm not a chocolate fiend like you are, so. I am, yeah. So this is double chocolate chunk from Quest, 20 grams protein. Um, this is gonna be 24 grams carb, 12 grams of fiber. So again, it's one of the high fiber bars, seven grams of fat, 170 calories. You described it once and this wasn't the word that you used because we were up in New England on vacation. And we popped into a convenience store to get something to eat and you had one of these. I don't remember what you said, but it was something along the lines of, this tastes like food that's been through the dishwasher. It was something like that. <laughs> You have a better memory than I do. I don't remember that at all. Um, but again, the flavor, like, I, I'm partial to, like, the birthday cake flavor mm -hmm. more so than the chocolate. This so I'm a, really having to grave this on a curve. Microwave makes a big difference. Microwave makes a huge difference with a Quest bar, especially. This is a little softer. This one also is brown, in case you're wondering. <laughs> Everything is brown today. It's brown. Everything. It has the chocolate chips in it, which is a um, differentiating texture there, which is... Which Helpful. is good because the texture of the thing as a whole sucks. It's protein goo. It protein, it's paste. All of them really are. It's like solidified paste. I feel like if you've had one Quest bar, you know what to expect in that it's gonna have a pretty lousy texture. I'm giving the texture like a three out of 10 and the flavor is gonna be fair to Midland. I give this a five, but I would give the birthday cake one a six <clears throat> or six and a half. Okay, so still not like rocking off the charts or anything yeah. like that. Did we even rate this one? I gave it a 10. Oh, I gave the I gave it a, a nine. A nine, okay. Or eight point seven. Okay, I'm intrigued by this. Uh oh, that's never good. This is the first form level one bar. Is this a brand you know? Is this first a... form is a brand I know. Um, this is also chocolate peanut butter pretzel. The pretzel is yeah. piquing my interest. Yes, twenty grams protein. 25 grams of carbs, three grams fiber, five grams sugar, four grams added sugar, nine, nine, eight, nine grams of fat? Nine. 260 calories total. Those macros are not objectionable. Those are reasonable. Interesting. Like you can see the peanut butter Ooh, drizzle over there. a change in brown. <laughs> we have two shades of brown here. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. I think I was cutting through the pretzel there. Okay, somewhere. now the inside looks like a little bit like a granola bar. So that's promising. It's different. Oh, oh something just flew across your office there, honey. I give it a seven. I like the granola-esque interior because it's not just paste. He's bouncing over here. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? Uh, there's no pretzel in that. I get no pretzel from that. Maybe at all. that's the granola bar. 
I mean, you can't call it a pretzel if it doesn't taste like a pretzel and it doesn't have salt in it. I can see them. They all need more salt. <clears throat> that tastes like peanut brittle to me. Like it's, it's kind of hard like that. Yeah. When I hear pretzel, I don't think peanut brittle. I want pretzel. I give it a seven. I'm gonna give it a four, three or four. I don't like it. You don't know. <clears throat> I don't like the bait and switch. If you're gonna call it a pretzel, you better have some pretzel flavor. Nothing that it. says it's pretzel has pretzel in it <clears throat> is ever salty enough. This is true. Mm. Okay, so I was intrigued by that, and now I'm officially disappointed by that. I'm scared because I'm protein barred out. Everything's gonna get like a two from here. Pro Max. This sounds delicious. <laughs> a Pro Max protein bar. Double fudge brownie. More chocolate, honey. Yeah, I'll dig it. Uh, 20 grams protein, 37 grams of carbs, 28 grams of sugars, including 28 grams of added sugars. I mean, it better taste good with that much sugar. Yeah, seven grams of fat. I'm going back to a different curve now. What you're saying, if this is like less than 10 out of 10, then you're gonna be disappointed. If with it's that less than sugar. eight out of 10, I'm okay. gonna be disappointed. So, oh, it's brown, big surprise. It's it's brown and it has very much like a large intestine type texture to it as well. I was gonna I was gonna say like yeah. Which is not really the I kind mean, of texture I mean, that look I'm at looking for. Not the texture that I'm looking for look in a protein this. bar. Look at this. That was really soft when I cut into it there. Oh that's promising. Three words for you. Microwaved Tootsie Roll. Mm. And you're not a Tootsie Roll fan. If you like a Tootsie Roll this you is, might like this brown poo this, bar. <laughs> I, I'm a big fan of the brown poo bar. The colon bar. <laughs> there you go. Oh, look, I laughed out loud at one of your jokes. You never laugh at that my jokes. That never happens. <laughs> Can you use your little Wizard of Oz powers and um, pause the video while I go get more? <clears throat> Wait, weren't you getting a refill? But your glass is down here. I'm a bear. Oh, you're bringing a bottle. Yeah. Okay. She's a trooper, guys. I was promised one. Yeah, I think you promised yourself that. <clears throat> I'm gonna go with this Think Bar here. This is this flavor is called Brownie Crunch. And spoiler alert, I haven't opened it yet, but I think it's brown. I feel like we can predict how it's gonna taste mm -hmm. based on the label. 20 grams protein, eight grams fat, 23 carbs, zero total sugars, one gram of fiber. I take issue with this bar already based on the title. What, Think? Yeah. Why? It's like when someone, when someone says, let that sink in. So the rapper is already or, telling me, think. Or when they say like, read that again. I hate that so much. If you're going to be smart and not dumb, you should eat this protein bar. Mm. And it also looks like an emoji. Right. It's brown. <laughs> it's ripply. It smells delicious. <laughs> Two. Three. Texture-wise, it has a better texture. I'm gonna give it a six for texture, but it just tastes like garbage. <laughs> Thank you to Think Protein Bars for sponsoring this video. This is trash. Like, you only buy this once, and then it goes into your brain as like, yeah, I'm not doing that again. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. This is garbage. Oh my God. Yeah, whew. I know I like this one. This was my, this is what I brought to the table. Okay. My um, barbells. Caramel, it, cashew. Oh, it doesn't say a word about chocolate. It's got chocolate on it. Is it barbells or bear bells? Oh, you're right. Oh. It, there's an E in there. It's bear bells, but Sorry. barbells makes much more sense. It does. Who wants bear balls? <laughs> <laughs> I have. And once again, have no comment. Once again, a a company or a place that needed to consult me before they created a name why for themselves. Didn't, why did they not ask you first? 20 grams protein, 18 grams carbs, one gram of sugar, eight grams of fat. Sugar, alcohol is five grams. I already know that I can stomach these. You, you this can, is what I take with me when I don't have time to eat breakfast or I'm traveling. Or you, you can stomach these, meaning you enjoy it or it's tolerable. Um, I, mean, I, I'm gonna, I wouldn't use the word enjoy. I'm gonna ask you to but, quantify But you also have to show, here. like, look at already the texture on the top because this has Cashews. You just eat all that. I'm cashews, I'm gonna eat half, because I take my Bear Bells neat. I get a little bit of a cashew hit from it. It's very faint, stronger caramel flavor. Yeah, it's not bad. I'd give it a six and a half. It is kind of like pasty gooey on the inside, but I like the textural topping that it has. It has the mm -hmm. nutty caramel. I don't get caramel from that though. It's called caramel cashew. I get caramel from it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, cashew is like a hint. Of, well, the of cashew my hint. is also like the little the the crunchy topping. I'm gonna go for this Metrex bar. Oh so, god, <laughs> sounds delicious. This is gonna be very divisive. I know. I am familiar with this one, and it's a favorite of mine. Now, any food called Metrex. 
Now, is it metrics or met RX? There is a there is a there is a dash. Met dash RX. Mm -hmm. I'm not calling it Met dash RX. I think it's very pretentious when you name your company um, something that leaves its pronunciation open to interpretation. 410 calories in this thing. 32 Damn. grams of protein. Yeah. Do you know what I can enjoy for 410 calories? This not protein. That. Now here's the thing with those numbers. This should taste delicious, right? I'm a big fan. I guarantee you will hate this. Then why do I taste it? Because I want to see the face. I want to see oh! The face. Oh! Damn! It's not brown on top. It's got two it's, different colors of brown underneath. It's get point. It's getting points already. It has like a what looks like I want to think it's like a marshmallowy top, but it's based like a, on like how a, hard you're having to cut it's it. It's like a frosting type thing on top. And then there's like a cake texture in the middle. Yeah. And see what happens. I'm dying. Cheers. I'm dying to see this reaction here. Quit looking at me. All eyes on you. <laughs> no, you can't do that. We gotta see it. It tastes like um, very stale cake, and the white is adding points because it does have a hint of marshmallow. That, that's a 10 out of 10 flavor for me on the protein bar scale. Four. Texture-wise, I'm giving it like a, a 9 out of 10 just it's, because it's very different. There's nothing pasty about it. No. It's crunchy. Yeah. I'm getting stale. Not 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 super crunchy, but like it, it, it's weird because it, it's got kind of a sandy texture, but I don't mean that in a negative way. Like stale. I mean, stale chocolate cake is better than no chocolate cake. Stale chocolate cake is better Maybe. than most of these protein bars. Okay, we got two left. Oh God. Well, this says Builder's Bar, which sounds not good, but it says Cliff, which Cliff. is a good thing. Yeah, so this is the protein bar from Cliff. 20 grams of protein, 31 grams of carbs, 17 grams of sugar. This also <laughs> says it's uh, plant protein. Oh, it's brown. Cheers. The crispies add a lot. I think that's really good, actually. Like, I give that a seven and a half for taste. Probably a seven and a half for texture as well. You're going six. It's a little sawdusty. Yeah. It feels like there's bits of this that are kind of like in conflict with one another. Like, you get the pasty part and then you get the crunchy part with like the crispies in there. Why eat this when you can? We gotta go highlight our favorite after we're all done. So, this is the other. We had another one of these bars, right? This was the caramel one that Why we started with. Why does this with. company get featured twice? Because I was losing track of what I had purchased. And I didn't realize that I bought two. It's cookies care. and cream. So there's a picture cares. of a giant Oreo cookie sandwich or something on there, which I feel is going to be like very deceptive advertising here. 220 calories, 20 grams protein, 23 grams carbs. Numbers are reasonable. It's not brown. Oh, it's not even too dark brown inside for Oreo cookie. No. Knock off. The picture on the front is Oreo cookie, but yeah. on the inside. This looks like peanut butter with like white chocolate or something. Oh, it smells good. Fuck no. You're just saying that because you saw the Oreo cookie on the front cover. Yeah, this is just fucking disgusting. One out of 10, that's gross as hell. I'm personally offended. Give it a three. Like, that is not even Oreo adjacent. It is not Oreo adjacent. No? I think it's getting extra points for me just because it's not like chocolate powder. It's, it's getting extra points because it's not browned and it's the last one. But again, if it's just a, a, at my best, I give it a three. But why, why go, why bother with that when you can go with? That's the best one. Eat that. Somebody tell Robert. Mm, he wins. Oh. Robert Irvine, if you are looking to sponsor a YouTube channel, I will hawk your shit because that is good as hell. Even I think it's good. Let's revisit the numbers on this. Were we duped? Thirty grams of protein, twenty-seven grams of carbs. Six grams of sugar. This has six and tastes like it has 30. This has a very um, believable <laughs> peanut butter flavor too. <clears throat> yeah, and it does have 16 grams of fat, so it's on the high side. That's what makes it more caloric. It's 300 calories. It probably has calories. lots of actual peanut butter in it. So or you, that peanut butter powder you can buy. You would probably be happy with half of this. Yeah. Because that puts it at about 200 calories. That feel, would feel even like as, enough. Even as yummy as that is, mm -hmm. I would still eat half of it. And if I had to eat the second half, I'd be like... <clears throat> yeah. But if you if you just cut this in half and save the other half for the next day or something like that, yep. it's perfect. Clear winner, like this is your go-to. Now I think so, these are a little harder to find in stores. Like I found this one in the grocery store. So if you're stocking up <clears throat> for apocalyptic futures, buy a bunch of these. Here you go. Yeah. Or if and, you're a bodybuilder and need 30 grams of protein in five minutes. There you go. And having had that last bite here, the peanut butter flavor, like. I don't even really get peanut butter. I get peanuts. Oh, I get peanut butter. Yeah, I mean, because I, I, it's it's salty like I would expect peanuts right. to be. There you have it, folks. Like, that's as honest as you're going to get because when there's bullshit, we'll call it out. And when it's good, 
I have no reason to lie about this. Like, that is just objectively good. Well, and keeping in mind, of course, everybody has different tastes. Yes. But these are ours. Just take us a different route a second. Of course, you'd probably edit this out. <laughs> you Why can try. Why is this better than taking, like, I bought those perfect aminos mm -hmm. in tablets, mm -hmm. where I can take, like, five tablets that are vegan. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just do it this way. Instead of no cow, try taking the perfect aminos that are vegan and protein, but in pill form. I don't know how that works. Yeah, the only thing is... Um, oh, <laughs> this is some carnage here. There's a massive butt coming here. Um, <laughs> I've got one of those too. <laughs> there's no satisfaction in taking your protein in pill form, but I would say there's no satisfaction in taking it in this form either. I would say some of these are actual punishments. <laughs> so, you know, swallowing a pill is not yummy or fun. But like it this. is also neutral. It's clean. There's no maggots on it. I mean, we didn't find. I didn't open it all the way. I mean, and if that's the be if that's the best praise that we can give to it, hey, look, they're maggot free. Like, <laughs> ding. Cheers. Thanks for joining me. Mm. Appreciate it. Thanks for letting me drink two out. Yeah, we'll have to do this again next year. We'll find some more protein bars and try this again, and we'll do an assortment of flavors next time. How about that? Mm. That is that is what I asked for all along. Deal.